नमस्कार आई होप यू आर इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड इंजॉइंग द स्टडीज एट द मोमेंट सो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम सो लेट सी हाउ टू गो हैड विद दिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील एज्यूम समथिंग बिकॉज टू कंडीशन आर गिवेन इफ वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो जेड इक्वल्स टू ई पावर एक्स एंड सेम इफ वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो डेल जेड बाई डेल वाई इक्वल्स टू ई पावर माइनस एक्स so first of all we will assume one thing what we will assume because we have del 2y by del y square so let's assume z to be function of y only in normal case z is the dependent variable and it is a function of x and y but if we assume z to be a function of y only it will become function of one variable only which is y in that case instead of writing del z by del y we can easily write it out to be dz by dy so we will transfer ourselves from partial differential e equation world to ordinary differential equation world so this will now be written as d2z by dy square minus of z equals to 0 now uh one more thing this uh, d2 by dy square you can write this as d2 okay here now currently z is your when i have converted to ode z is your dependent variable and y is your independent variable so d2 minus 1 operating on z equals to 0 so this is a simple problem uh, how to go ahead with this first find your auxiliary equation which is m square minus 1 equals to 0 i just replace this d by m so from here you get m square as 1 and uh, m you will get as plus minus 1 i will write my complementary function which will be if i take a and b as constant a e power m1 which is 1 and because y is independent variable y plus second constant if i take b e power minus 1 into y now because we have rhs as 0 so your particular integral will also be 0 in that case you can now directly write that your uh, this dependent variable which is z that is equal to cf plus pi which is a e power y plus b e power minus y but this was your assumption that z is a function of y only but this is not the case z is function of x and y both so we will write one statement again that but z is a function of x and y both so you already have y in this equation but x is lacking so what we will do we will write capital a as a function of x and capital b which is the other constant as function of y uh sorry both will be the function of x only because x was lacking so 
but this will be a different function so let's name this g of x so f of x is a and g of x is b now uh, you will uh, you have already made the compensation for what you have assumed you have assumed that be a function of y only but now we have uh, solved that problem z is a function of x and y both we just have to do one thing a can be replaced by f of x and b can be replaced by g of x so coming back to our problem so if you do that correction then z can be written as in place of a you can write fx e power y plus z of x e power minus y now now coming to the conditions first condition is uh condition number 1 that is when y equals to 0 z is e power x so when y equals to 0 your z is e power x so z is e power x when y equals to 0 so if you put y equals to 0 e power 0 is 1 here also e power 0 that is also 1 so you will get f of x plus g of x so this is your equation number 1 now what is your condition number 2 when y equals to 0 your del z by del y is e power minus x so first of all find del z by del y so if you differentiate Uh, this uh, let's name this equation number two and this as equation number one. So if you differentiate equation number one with respect to y, you will get del z by del y. Because you are doing with respect to y, so this f x and g x can be written as constant. So you can write this as f x derivative of e power y is e power y only. Derivative of e power minus y is e power minus y into minus one. So I can write minus sign here. gx is constant so as it is and e power minus y now you have to put del z by del y as e power minus x and if you put here y as 0 in both the case again you will get fx minus gx and in lhs you will get e power minus x so e power minus x is you are getting as fx minus gx and you can easily name this as equation number 3 now as you can see if you look at equation number 2 and 3 if you add this two gx will get cancel you will get fx two times and in lhs you have e power x e power minus x so e power x plus e power minus x is two times of fx or you can write your fx as e power x plus e power minus x by 2 so your fx is nothing but hyperbolic cos of x okay now what you i am going to do next is i want to remove this time g uh, fx from the equation so i simply subtract so e power x from for a second equation minus e power minus x from here so if i subtract g of x minus minus g of x so g of x will become two time fx will obviously become cancel so you are getting your g of x as e power x plus e power minus x sorry you have a minus sign in the middle so you are getting e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 so your g of x is 
हाइपरबोलिक साइन ऑफ एक्स ओके सो यू हैव गॉट योर एफ ऑफ एक्स यू हैव गॉट योर जी ऑफ एक्स नाउ आई विल कम बैक टू इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो फ्रॉम equation number 1 your z is going to be fx which is hyperbolic cos of x and with that you have e power y plus g of x which is hyperbolic sin of x and with that we have e power minus y so if i want to write this in a better way then this is only my final solution which is z equals to hyperbolic cos of x into e power y plus hyperbolic sin of x into e power minus y so i hope you understood this problem it was a easy problem we just made an assumption treated z to be a function of y only so that we can come into od world solve it but later we realize that it, that we have to make uh, some correction in our assumption so we uh, took uh, a as f of x b as g of x now z was a function of x and y both and then uh, we came back to our condition condition was y is 0 when z is e power x sorry y is 0 then z is e power x and the second condition was Uh, y is zero, then del z by del y is e power minus x. So we got one equation each from both the equations. We put back f uh, from there on. If we added and subtracted, we got the value of f x and g x. We kept the value of f x and g x in the equation and got finally this equation, which is our solution. So I hope you understood this problem. We have no problem whatsoever while solving this type of problem. We will take some more. couple of problems on this particular idea that's it from my side thanks and have a nice day